interesting how man will look at a disaster that could potentially kill everyone on the planet, know that he caused this catastrophe, and then continue to engage in the activities that caused this chaos to occur. People say, well, if aliens exist, why don't they show themselves? Well, the answer to that is simple. Because people would kill them. They're either going to shoot them up or run away. I mean, look at how they treated the elephant man. Look at what they're doing to Bigfoot. They're hunting his ass down as we speak. I love science, engineering, and admire many of the accomplishments of man. We have to begin to place a moral cap on how far we go with things. There are facilities that hold the means to end us all. Just because we can do something doesn't mean we should. We have a problem. Yes, folks, another one. The Pacific Ocean is the body of water that separates the Far East from the Far West. Underneath the Pacific Ocean is a tectonic plate. Along the edges of this plate, at the surface, we have the coast of Mexico, California, Alaska, all the way around to Japan, down along the Philippines, Indonesia, and New Zealand. This is what's known as the Ring of Fire. Why? Well, think about this. 90% of all earthquakes occur along the Ring of Fire, and it's the home to the majority of volcanoes on the planet. Now, why would anyone want to build a nuclear facility right on top of something called the Ring of Fire. They're building a nuclear power plant, so I know they're not stupid. So either it was done deliberately or by a madman or both. Yes, I'm talking about the Tepco Daiichi plant in Fukushima, Japan. Needless to say, there was an earthquake, big surprise, a magnitude nine, nine. Do you know what a magnitude 9 earthquake would do if it were to occur on the surface? Fortunately, for the sake of all of Japan, it occurred about 130 kilometers offshore. Unfortunately for all of Japan, it brought a 15 meter high tsunami that devoured 560 kilometers of Japan, killing 19,000 people. 19,000. Oh. And the power plant, it flooded. It couldn't maintain the power at the power plant, and thus lost three reactors to a meltdown. Now, I know this sounds like something out of a movie, but reality is worse, and movies have an end. It's 2016, and this thing is still spewing out radiation all over the place. They can't clean it up. You get too close to the reactor and you're dead in a half hour. I mean, they've sent death row inmates in there to clean and they only last a couple of days. Well, what about robots? The robots fry the radiation is so high. Nothing good can come of this. And don't think that this is going to give birth to some generation of X-Men. It'd be more like a generation of toxic Avengers. So, because most of you live somewhere else, everything seems fine and it's not your problem anyway. Well, everything is not fine and it is your problem. It's our problem. I gotta meet this great activist who's been in Fukushima, 
been there, been there. Documented videos, been in Chernobyl many times. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Howard Steinbichol. And like Kevin said, I've been to Chernobyl many times and Fukushima. And I know what this stupid technology brings. It brings suffering and pain to the people. So that some people make billions of dollars for and millions of people dying around the physical drama, suicide, get cancer and all this shit. And yeah, I've seen it. I don't need to believe it because I know it. Yeah, and I got to see incredible footage he has from Chernobyl, the photographs, but more than that, Fukushima. You, sh I mean, you know, the photographs that he showed me on his computer from inside Fukushima, the story of Fukushima, the ghost train he showed me that goes in and out of there eight times. They videoed it. They, they, they photographed it. Him and another group, just a small group of them, they just did it. You know, on their own, and so he he knows the crux and the details. What's really going on at Fukushima? You know, and what do you call your uh, website? Your roadside picnic. Book. And I didn't know what that was. I guess that's a book from Russian. But tell us a little bit about what you saw at Fukushima. Oh yeah, um, actually they are pretending like this. Everything is fine. Nothing happens. And I was mentioned by myself in my Geiger counter, mm -hmm. uh, 80 kilometers away, I think it's about 60 miles, uh, in Fukushima, in the capital, in the city, 280,000 people. They got these indoor playgrounds for the children, and in the front entrance is high radiation. So what's this all for? And, and they're like digging around all the soil, uh, put it in a plastic bag, so they know what to do with it. Tell us about the FEMA camp, and there's, or excuse me, the FEMA camp, there's a Freudian slip. The temporary housing they're at, and then you were showing me pictures and showing oh, yeah. they pile up the debris right outside the doors of their temporary yeah, housing. Uh, they move the people from the exclusion zone to temporary houses, like uh, uh, how do you call this? Uh, tin ca uh, cans, yeah. uh, houses. And if he wakes up in the morning, opens the window, looks outside, he sees this radioactive soul of a big hill. I mean, you saw the picture. A big hill in front of this house. Like, this must be depressing. It is actually depressing. Yeah, it's actually the waste that they're sacking up. They're piling up right in front of these poor people. And then, you know, you verified the suicide that's going on over oh, there. Oh, yeah. I've uh, heard, I think, the view this farmer, which uh, uh, this woman, uh, that, that, that they are not allowed to go back to the farm, to the house. It's a really nice house. Yeah. And uh, one day, without any 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 sign, she just took a can of gasoline, put over her, and burned herself. So that's what's going on. The same story as what you heard 30 years ago in Chernobyl, because uh, the, the, not only cancer and, and, and the patients are the problem, even the depression that people have if they have to move. Oh, multi generation. Yeah. But he has incredible shots, and you live in Austria. Yeah. And you just did this. You, you and a group, you guys just did this. Yeah. And uh, he was at the house. We all know the famous, you know, cattle rancher who stayed. These guys uh, talked to him. They're right there with him, interviewed oh, yeah, him. Call, man. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah, the cow terrorist called him. He's yeah. incredible. Well, he's, uh, he's not a typical Japanese. He's no. Like, he's shouting, he's yelling. He's using bad words. <laughs> but you had the Geiger counter inside his house. Oh, yeah. It's up to inside in the living room, uh, uh, up to two micros here. I, mean, just, I would not live there. And in, in front of his balcony, you can look straight up to, uh, to the nuclear power plant of Fukushima Daiichi. And tell us about the train. As well. Oh, yeah. Um, there's this train. Uh, there are many ghost uh, villages. And area and it's next to the coast and the government wants to force that the, the, uh, the, the line of the train goes through back to the north but the uh, 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 unit workers they are fighting against it so the government says yeah the, the, the train goes to this village yeah it's uh, I don't have the name now but uh, it, the train goes eight times a day to a ghost city and we were uh, watching the train arriving nobody's in there and then he's waiting 10 minutes and he back. And that's what he makes eight, eight times a day. Eight times a day. <laughs> it's just, the government tries to, to say, yeah, everything is okay because the, yeah, the, the Olympic Games 2020 are coming and everything is fine. Nothing is, uh, we fixed everything. Uh, nothing is fixed. It's getting worse and worse. But I, now, you were telling us you went to Fukushima City, which is how far away from the... 80 kilometers or so bus. And your, you guys' readings were how high, even there? 
uh, it, uh, we had background radiations in this park with seven microsieverts. Wow. It's a park where young couples go to dating. It's wow. really romantic and nice there. And, the, and uh, some people live there. And you know, it's, the sad thing is, I mean, I have no problem. I see this in Chernobyl. Old farmers, old people go back there and live there. Yeah, they know, okay, they're old. They don't want to get uh, sure. disconnected from the, the roots. But I get really mad and sad if I see children. Area. And that's what's going on in Japan still. And it's like, uh, high, uh, nothing's, everything is fine. And there are independent hospitals that are trying to handle stuff. Oh yeah, there's this one uh, clinic, uh, this corporation clinic in Fukushima. It lives on donations and there are independent doctors who check the children by themselves. It's founded by some mothers who were, uh, 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 not, uh, they didn't trust the government, uh, the official hospitals. So, and they make so they make different numbers than the official ones. The, the official ones said, "Oh no, this is everything is fine. It's it's, it's in the regular uh, shape." And uh, then they make real numbers. Real numbers. Yeah, what's really going on there? Yeah, and it's pretty cancer. amazing. We have the IEA here in Vienna. Oh yeah. And you know, it's spending billions and billions of dollars, and it's all grassroots like yourself, you know, like myself, like this independent clinic that have to tell the truth and have yeah. to fight with peanuts, with nothing, yep. when they got billions and they're supposed to do this, you know, your work has been really powerful, I'm telling you. I got to see the photographs today and I tell you what, they're amazing, amazing. Thank you. Yeah, well, not even just, I mean, Fukushima, yeah, going over there, what you guys did, but the work in Chernobyl that you have. How yeah. many times you been in Chernobyl? Six times now. Two times a year I'm going. And you're going right in there. Yeah. I mean, the photographs he has and the dynamic he knows, it's incredible, you know. So I kept watching me in. And I, I want to tell that my audience and our audience in the United States that there's a lot of great activists in Austria and Germany that we don't know about in the U.S. because they block us from you guys. We don't get to find out about you guys. And we know that, that you know, it's different here. I'm here to tell you because I live in the U.S. Yeah. I get spit on as an activist. Yeah. People come up to me and just see my shirt, whatever. Hey, thank you for what you do. You know, and so I guess more logic, but I appreciate your work. Thanks. Really appreciate your work. And it's fan and he's young by the way. He's just, <laughs> he's got an incredible future ahead of him. So uh, Thanks for doing this. I really appreciate it. I do it. For Show myself. your shirt. Show your shirt. <laughs> I love this. Tell me what that means. Uh, it's a uh, strahlen. Um, it's a German word for radiation or for smiling. So it says a uh, uh, smiling man or radiation man. You can use it in both. I love it. I love it. It's very <laughs> great. Very clever. Yeah. That's what we have to be. We use whatever we have. Thank radiation from this accident is just about everywhere. We can't. We count radiation levels with counts per minute, with 5 to 20 CPM being normal. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 854 CPM, 170 times normal. Dallas, Texas, 575 CPM, 115 times normal. Washington, D.C., 543 CPM, 108 times normal. New York City, 323 CPM, 64 times normal. San Diego, California, 558 CPM, 111 times normal. Fort Wayne, Indiana, 1,326 CPM, 265 times normal. It is in our rivers, it's in our lakes. Right now, there are 99 working reactors in the U.S. alone in 30 states, just the U.S. There are well over 440 worldwide with some on the way. 440 atomic bombs going off all at once, in containment, of course. Folks, you have to be aware of these things being done around you. These are things that put humanity in danger and they can't be undone. Well, not by us. We may not live long enough to see this put in reverse. But perhaps our children will. Must we constantly create trash for the next generation to clean up? Is this the nature of man? In 
that you're evil.